Hello everyone, I've got my one skillet out so that I can show you how to make homemade spaghetti and meatballs. It's all done in 30 minutes. In a medium bowl, I have one pound of ground beef and I just went ahead and broke that up. We're gonna add one egg, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of minced onion, a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese grated, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, we've got one tablespoon of fresh parsley, we're going to mix this all together. Now I'm just using handy dandy kitchen gloves here. Once we get that all mixed up, I am using a one and a half inch scoop. And I'm gonna measure out the meatballs in that. And then I'm just gonna roll them tightly and just place them on a plate. In a large skillet, we're gonna heat one tablespoon of cooking oil. We're gonna bring that to a sizzle. So as we place the meatballs into the oil, they'll start browning. We're gonna cook these for about four to five minutes on one side and then I'm gonna flip them over. We want them nice and browned and a little charred on the bottom. That will help keep the meatballs nice and shaped. They don't fall apart in your sauce. We're going to cook them another two to three minutes to get nice and browned on the other side. And I'm just rotating them around a little bit so the sides get nice and browned also. We're going to drain the excess grease out of the meatballs. I like to use some paper towels. Add one jar, which is 24 ounces of pasta sauce. Then I'm going to put in 32 ounces of chicken broth. All right, I'm going to bring this to a high heat and let this come to a boil. Add one tablespoon of butter, a little bit of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, some garlic powder. Give this a stir. I'm taking 12 ounces of dry spaghetti pasta and I'm going to break it in half. That way it'll fit into the pot really good. All right, we're going to stir the spaghetti all into the sauce. You want to make sure that your spaghetti is down into the sauce. We're going to drop down our heat to a medium low. We're going to place the lid on and we're going to simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes till the spaghetti is nice and cooked through and tender. 
I'm going to come back every so often and I'm going to stir the spaghetti into the sauce. Okay, I took the lid off, turned off the burner. I'm going to allow this to rest and absorb the rest of that liquid in here. Look at that, the cooked spaghetti is cooked through. We're going to let this sit, put some of the meatballs on top. Over here, I'm just making some homemade garlic bread. I've just got some regular bread. Slathered some butter on top right here. I'm going to take some garlic powder and sprinkle that on top. I thought I had some garlic bread in the freezer, but, but you can always make your own if you don't. I'm just going to lightly sprinkle the garlic. I got my oven preheating at 400 degrees. We're just going to toast these in the oven. Little Italian seasoning on the bread. And if you want to put a little Parmesan cheese on there, you can, or some mozzarella cheese, which I'm probably going to do. So you can make your own homemade cheesy bread right here. <laughs> Just a little bit of parsley, give it a nice color. There we go, we're mimicking homemade cheesy bread, garlic cheesy bread. I'm going to place these in the oven until the cheese is nice and golden brown on here. Pull these out and then we're going to enjoy our spaghetti with it. Okay, look how delicious that looks. It's had time to sit and just absorb the rest of the sauce. Got my delicious garlic cheesy bread here. I'm going to plate this up, give it a try for you. Spaghetti and meatballs all in one skillet or one pot. Let me show you these meatballs. Oh yeah, they cut really nice, They're tender. I'm going to try this for you. Mmm. That's really good. All right, all those flavors in there, and it cooks in that marinara sauce, extra flavors. Okay, I'm going to do the twirl dance here. Okay, here's my spaghetti bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The pasta is cooked perfectly and has all those delicious flavors in there. All right, y'all. Here's my garlic bread. Nice and toasted. Sop up that nice marinara sauce that we made. Mmm. That's very delicious. This will feed a family of four, just so y'all know. Y'all, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below what you think of my one pot spaghetti and meatballs. These are homemade and very easy to make right in the pot. Okay, what did you think of my one skillet spaghetti and homemade meatballs? Are you making yours? Less than 30 minutes. Give me a thumbs up on this one if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. Make sure y'all comment what your favorite one skillet meals are. I will see y'all on the next episode.